I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on solving problems with ease. Here, we'll take up an example which is based on mixture and profit. Now, this combination is lethal. Normally, you take a lot of time to solve such questions. The idea is to get the solution in minimum time and preferably within a minute, right? So that's the idea. The question here is, the coffee brand A costing $190 per kg is to be mixed with coffee brand B costing $150 per kg so that the resultant coffee when sold for $192 per kg gives a profit of 20%. Find the ratio by weight of brand A to brand B for this mixture. You are given four choices. How will you solve it? Right? So there are traditional ways of solving it, but we'll discuss efficient way of solving, right? Now when you read the question, we are clear that there are two brands of coffees. One is dollar one ninety, right? And the other one is uh, cheaper, which is hundred and fifty. And what you get as your final price is $192, right? That is what is given to us. And we are also given that this price is actually 20% profit. Well, what does that mean? Now, when I say that when you are going to sell after all this mixture, you are expecting a profit of 20%, then it means we have to find the cost price. You understand? We need to find the, the actual price of the mixture, right? Profit is on the cost price, correct? Now, if you really look into the question, it says coffee brand A costing that much, right? So at this cost, you have purchased one coffee brand. At the other cost, we have purchased another coffee brand. So basically, we really don't know the cost price of the mixture, right? So that is kind of very important to understand. It is after profit, when you add 20% profit, right? Then you get $192. Does it make sense per kg? So the question actually is in two parts. So we first need to find the cost price of the mixture, right? when you mix two things at the cost of 190 and dollar 150 correct so that is the whole idea so we need to first find the cost price and then from here we are going to find the ratio so i hope this basic concept is clear to you right so how do i get the cost price now see Cost price has to be lesser than the selling price, right? So what is this? This is our selling price, correct? This is our selling price. And on whatever this cost price is, we are getting 20% profit, correct? So now, my way of doing this is kind of like this. I always see this as a ratio problem. So let's make a table here. Let's try to understand this concept once you understand it you would actually solve such question in less than a minute. Now, here, how are cost price, profit, and selling price related? Well, cost price plus profit, right, let's say P, is the selling price, right? Now, in our case, we are given that the profit is 20%. We are also given that after 20% profit, the selling price is 192 right so we need to figure out what should be the cost price let it be x logic now what does this 20 percent do if i begin with 100 dollars let us say add 20 to it 20 percent of 100 is only 20 dollars right then the selling price will be 120 now if I look at it as a ratio problem, you can clearly see that if the cost price is $100, selling price is $120. Now, if the cost price we don't know, what should it be for the selling price of $192? How do we find this? Simple ratio, right? Simple 
ratio. So that means I could now write this as x over 100 should be equal to 192 over 120. Does make sense to you? Simple as that. And so I can find the value of x. Correct? So from here, let's find the value of x. So let's find x equals to, we'll just cross multiply. So I'm just writing all of them so that you can understand how we solve it, right? Divided by 120. So what did I do here? I cross multiplied. So I took this 100 to the right side. Just cross multiply isolated x. Now, we need to solve for a value. So you could simplify. 0 can go like this, correct? Now 12 could divide into 192. Perfect. So, so we could divide first by, let us say, let's say 4, right? So 4 times 3 is 12. And if I do 4, 4 times 4 is 16 and 32 is 4 times 8. Well, I can further divide this, right? So, so 3 goes how many times? 3 goes 1 times 3 and then 6. So we get a value of x as 16 times 10. Is that clear? So we get the value of x as $160. Does it make sense to you? So now we have the value of x, which is $160. Did you see how easy the calculation is? There is no need of a calculator. Some of you could have straight away divided 192 by 12, right? Canceling, not a difficult job, right? 12 times 1 is 12. And then you get what? 72. 72 is 6 times 12, right? You could have done that. So 160 is your cost price. So now finally, we do get $160 as the cost price of the mixture. So we basically have to work with these numbers. You're getting an idea, right? We have to work with these numbers to find the ratio. Correct? So now it is simpler. Now how do we proceed forward? Now it means we have to add some quantity of expensive one to a cheaper one to get 160 as our final cost of the mixture right so how do we do that well one way was that you could say the quantity be x and y you're complicating the question in ratios we are talking about rates so if i take this quantity as one and that as let's say y since we used x already we'll use y now so we say well the expensive one let it be just one Ratio also is brand A to B. So brand A, let it be 1. And the other thing may be Y. In that ratio, I'm mixing this up to solve the problem further. Right Now let us see how do we do part B of this question. So let me clearly write down what we are working with now. So what we know here is that we have the cost price of $190.00. Cost price of $150 and when they mix, they give you a cost price of $160. We are interested in finding their quantities, right? So let us say this quantity here is 1 and we don't know what this is. Let's call this as X. Is that clear to you, right? So that is the average cost, right? So how are we going to solve it? So quantity 1 times 190, you have to multiply this quantity, 1 kg times the rate for kg. So we have 1 time 190, right? And to this, you are going to add x quantity for 150, right? So x times 150, correct? Should be equal to, should be equal to 160 times the quantity is 1 plus x, right? So it should be equal to, uh, let me write here itself. Uh, 160 times 1 plus x does make sense to you. So that becomes your equation to solve, right? To solve this equation, there is only one variable to work with. We'll bring x to one side. You see 150 and 160 on one side and 160 on the other side. So to solve this, we get 190, right? Minus 160 times 1, which is 160 equals to x times here we have 160 minus 150, right? And therefore, we get 190 minus 160, which is 30, 
divided by 160 minus 150 the value of x which definitely is 30 over 10 right or the value of x is 3 so we get a ratio 1 is to 3 so our answer is b 1 is to 3 correct so we get our solution now here is another way to do it now once you have placed all these numbers and that is uh, another way of doing exactly what we did here now, just as we worked with the table to show you how the ratios can be figured out perfect you can watch other vid videos where we are talking about markup which have the same strategy we'll apply a similar strategy here also to ease our calculation right let me show you how what you really saw was the difference in these two values so 190 minus 160 is how much so let's talk about it 190 minus 160 we could write here as 30 what is the difference between 150 and 160 we are talking about quantities always positive do you see that now we get the ratio right there 10 is to 3 do you see 10 is to 30 right which is 1 is to 3 so without even getting into this part which really takes time to solve I could go from step 1 find the cost price to step 2 find the quantity right so we found the quantity here so if you do this step first as you read the question you could make this sketch of your table and you know it is the ratio of x over 100 or 192 over 120 you do your calculation get 160 then second part is to make this we know these two cost prices we need 160 now find the difference of the two quantities you get your ratio simple as that so 10 is to 30 which is 1 is to 3 try this way and see in how many seconds you can solve it so practice some questions I'll provide you with a link to do so and explain you this particular method in details with more examples also this method so I'll provide you two links one search for markups right and then the other one weighted mean these two topics when combined can help you solve such a question so if I hope you have understood the method now let us redo the question with the technique learned I like you to time yourself and see whether you can really solve this in less than a minute okay so here is a fresh problem exactly the same one you could practice with different values also but we'll see how to solve this in a minute now using the new technique learned the coffee brand A costing $190 per kg is to be mixed with coffee brand B costing $150 per kg so that the resultant coffee when mixed when sold for $192 per kg gives a profit of 20%. So we have a profit of 20% right when sold at a cost of $192 right this is what we have gathered find the ratio by weight of brand A to brand B for this mixture now as soon as you see profit is there that means all other things are costing so we need to work on the cost price right so we have to get our cost price this is our thinking process so we need to work on cost price so if I have to work for cross price and I know the profit percent I will look into my table which is kind of like this so I know one thing that selling price is always cost price plus profit that is my selling price clear in our case we are given that after a 20 percent profit the selling price is 192 we need to find the cost price however if the cost price was 100 with 20 percent profit that should be 120 so that means that x over 100 should be equal to 192 over 120 now it is question of isolation so we say that now we'll calculate x which is equal to 192 over 120 
and we're going to multiply this by 100 clear so that is what it is so easy calculation is that zeros cancel away we multiply 12 rather divide 192 by 12 12 times 1 is 12 and we get 72 which is 16 so the value of x is actually 160 dollars now we have cost price of all the three that is to say we have a mixture here in which expensive quantity is 190 dollars the cheaper one is 150 dollars and the average which we got is 160 so if i take the difference i get 10 dollars here the difference there is 30 dollars so the ratio is 10 is to 30 which is 1 is to 3 so the answer is b which is 1 is to 3 perfect so i kind of did it in slow motion for you so that you could understand each and every step but still you can time and see how much time in fact it will take when this question comes in your test paper does it make sense to you so this is a very effective process i would like you to solve your question in this fashion get into this practice and get prepared for cracking SAT or any such test paper which involves multiple choice questions and time restrictions, especially without calculator, right? Without calculator, we did this calculation. I hope you find it interesting and useful. Share it with your friends and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.